That was the best Nintendo Direct we've ever had. You guys know how hyped I get after just a fantastic Nintendo Direct. And that was just yet another one. I loved every second of it. So many cool announcements. Um... I actually haven't seen it yet. <laughs> I woke up this morning. I, I thought I would wake up this morning to a Nintendo Direct. No, what I woke up to this morning was my subscription feed absolutely chocked full of uh, YouTubers reacting to, I guess, what was an absolutely awful Nintendo Direct. Uh, the worst one we've ever had, so on and so forth. I thought it'd be better if I watch it with you so <laughs> subscribe if you're new so i figured i'd at the very least before even watching it uh try and be positive about it be the one guy on the internet that <laughs> thumbnail and title says he liked it even though i'm guessing i'm probably not going to how bad can it be really let's just watch it together i'll hit play and i'll grab myself a bottle of oh it's over oh what Oh, that was pretty quick. <laughs> Blink and you miss it. All right, let's be honest. I wanted to do that gag of uh, <laughs> look away for a second and I missed it because it was really short. I have seen it. Of course I've seen it. It's like 5 p.m. Of course I've seen it. It was like Ubisoft forward level of uh, unimpressive. I'm not going to say disappointing. I'm going to say unimpressive. But here's the thing. Um, I It very clearly wasn't... It wasn't a Nintendo Direct Mini. I know they called it a partner showcase. What it really was, in my opinion, was Nintendo's way of announcing Shin Megami Tensei 5, as well as uh, Shin Megami, I know I pronounced it differently both times, uh, a remake of the third game. I'm actually not totally up to date on my Shin Megami <laughs> games. I like Persona a lot, but never played a SMT. Half of this freaking thing was Shin Megami Tensei news, which I think is really cool. Uh, I think it almost would have been cooler if Nintendo had said it's a Shin Megami Tensei Nintendo Direct Mini with a little bit of other announcements from some of our uh, other partners. I think that would have set expectations a lot more realistically. But this is almost, almost, it's almost like a little, a little clickbait just to kind of don't tell you anything. So you kind of have to watch it. And then whether you're a Shin Megami Tensei fan or not, you end up watching this direct. A lot of the fans of this franchise and RPG fans were really excited and everyone else, not so much. But there was some other kind of cool things in here we can take a look at. Uh, Cadence of Hyrule, an uh, indie game that I absolutely adored and Speed sped run on the, the channel. I got it. I got under three hours, which I was pretty excited about. So I'm happy to dive back in with these three new DLC packs. Uh, a bunch of new characters like Shadow Link, Shadow Zelda, even Impa. I'm excited to dive back into that game. That was a cool announcement for sure. Also, it's getting a physical release, which I know a lot of us wanted, and I'm definitely excited for that too. Oh, by the way, uh, look what came in the mail. I forgot to mention. I haven't opened it yet. That's a video for another time. I <laughs> just thought I'd show you. Oh, and speaking of milestones, I want to thank everyone that went over and followed me on Twitch. We're having a blast over there. And I want you to know that on Wednesday night, I'm going to do a stream where I give away a bunch of eShop codes and video game codes for both Switch and PlayStation. And it's going to be a big party giveaway thing to celebrate everyone helping me out over there. So if you don't want to miss that and you want to win some stuff, make sure to follow me. Link's down below over on Twitch. And then the next night, uh, Thursday night, I'm going to stream the Xbox event only on Twitch. I know I usually do it on YouTube, but I'm going to try doing it on Twitch this time. So if you want to see my reaction to Xbox's event, um, make sure to watch me on Twitch Thursday night. So Wednesday and Thursday, I'll be live. Check it out. Oh, it's like a million degrees in here. Then uh, they showed more of Rogue Company, which to be fair, this game doesn't look bad. And this trailer actually... It does seem like the game's come a long way. I saw a big criticism this game received initially was just really stiff animations in the characters. And at least what I'm seeing here, a lot of that looks cleaned up and it looks a lot more smooth and animated. And I hope that game turns out okay. I actually like high-res games quite a lot. They've done a lot of games I really enjoy on Switch, like Smite and other things. Oh, oh, I, oh, this game... 
WWE Battlegrounds. I know offhand it looks bad, and it does, but I want to say that my favorite, me and my friend's favorite wrestling game of all time, WWE All-Stars. I don't know who's played it. I don't know who remembers it. I am literally dripping with sweat. It was on Xbox 360, PlayStation 3. It is the best wrestling game. I and my friend, we all stand by it. It's so fun. It's over the top, insane arcade crazy action where RKOs lift you all the way up into the sky and power bombs like break the ring. Like it's insane over the top, but it's so much fun. It's not, it doesn't try too hard to be super realistic, both in the gameplay and the visuals and what you end up with is just a really fun game. And this looks like that in a way. It doesn't have the flashy visuals that All Stars has. It, it looks more grounded and honestly, it, it looks crap. Visually, it looks crap. It just looks like a budget version of that game though. I don't know why they wouldn't A, just port All Stars over to the Switch because it's a fun game. Or B, make All-Stars 2. But this looks pretty close to it, so who knows? I guess I'll check that out and see. Yeah, uh, blink if you miss it. That was it. We're caught up now. <laughs> Cadence of Hyrule, some Rogue Company, some WWE, and then Shin Megami, Shin Megami Tensai news. Uh, Shin Megami is by far the best part out of this. A uh, close runner-up, the Cadence of Hyrule stuff, but... I know I've seen people online already today mocking um, YouTubers for their thumbnails and titles with like worst direct ever. But if we if we're being technical, like all right, there's two ways to look at this. One, it falls into the category of Nintendo Direct Mini, and in that category, yes, this is technically the worst Nintendo Direct we've ever had. Uh, the only new announcement we got was a remake of Shin Megami 3. I, why do I keep trying? And then the fifth game, which I think that is pretty big news, actually. I don't want to breeze over that. I am excited for that. As someone who has never played the series, uh, I've been looking forward to this game ever since it was like one of the first Switch games announced to be coming to the system years ago and then disappeared. I honestly thought this game was scrapped or gone or I don't know what was happening. To see it still happening and to see how excited the fans are and I assume the 71,000 likes, which is outweighing the dislikes, must be the SMT fans. So I think that's really cool and really exciting for them. So technically anyway, from a Nintendo Drick mini standpoint, yeah, it was the mo <laughs> not the worst, just the most underwhelming one. Uh, but as far as a partner showcase, which is apparently a new series in these Nintendo Directs, it's the first one. So it's also technically the best one we've ever had of a partner showcase. And really, it can only go up from here. You would hope. I think a lot of the frustration, I, in fact, I know a lot of the frustration coming from people that wanted more, even though their expectations were probably low in the first place, is just because we don't know much about this year at all from anyone. Let's not single out Nintendo. Uh, we still don't have a PlayStation or an Xbox release date or price, let alone launch lineups. And uh, with Nintendo, we know about a couple of games uh, like No More Heroes and Bravely Default. But that's about it for the whole year. And um, that can't be it. There has to be more. There's so many rumors and leaks about a Mario anniversary thing coming up with Sunshine and Galaxy. And I don't even know. But people are so hyped and ready and excited for something to break the boredom of 2020. This absolutely G.O.D. awful year that we all can't wait to end. Everything's been postponed. Everything's cancelled. Nothing's happening this year. It's all over. It's all terrible. We just want something. And we're not getting anything from any of these companies. So when you finally hear Nintendo Direct, even if it's a mini and a partner showcase, you, you think to yourself, oh, fuck, please, please give me something to get me through the last five months of this stinky year. And when that something is really nothing... Uh, it's disappointing and it upsets a lot of people, but uh, let's all chill. I mean, the year's not over. We're only about halfway through. There's time for more directs and more announcements. We just need to be a little bit patient. Because <laughs> I know we're all going a little cuckoo. That being said, Paper Mario and Ghost of Tsushima just came out, by the way. Have you finished both of them? Do you even have both? Do you have either one? If you like whatever this was, I'd appreciate it if you liked. If you are new, uh, subscribe. <laughs> yeah, follow me on Twitch for those streams. 
What the hell, man? I'm just going to get out of here. Bye. I'm melting. I feel like the Wicked Witch of the West right now. Love you all.